150 quadrillion miles away from Earth, astronomers have discovered a cloud of ethanol alcohol billions of miles in diameter. Scientists hypothesize that the ethanol from outer space gradually built up into complex compounds and landed on Earth on the heads of comets. So, rather than primordial soup in which life on Earth developed, could it actually have been a primordial cocktail? Welcome to the School of Booze. Humans have consumed alcohol from the beginning. Early hominids ate mostly fruit, and in the African climate, that fruit would have fermented really quickly. It would have turned into around 5% of alcohol. Mead was the first purposely made alcoholic drink, and it was popular all over the world, particularly in Africa. Then we go around the world to China. Around 9,000 years ago, we found evidence of fermented rice, honey, and fruit. So that's sort of a rice wine with a bit of honey and fruit thrown in as well. We come back to the Middle East, to Iran and Iraq, which was then Mesopotamia, and there is archaeological evidence of wine and barley beer. The wine dates back to around 7,000 years and the barley beer to around 5,000 years. A moderate consumption of alcohol has proven health benefits. Our early ancestors would have noticed that the drinkers generally lived longer and they reproduced more. And that wasn't just the effect of the beer goggles either. Animals drink alcohol too. Elephants, birds and primates in the wild eat enough fermented fruit to intoxicate themselves. In lab conditions, male chimps drink more than females and parrots become more talkative when intoxicated. Without the desire for alcohol, would we have had this? If people hadn't made wine out of cacao pulp, chocolate might not have existed. Fermentation has changed the world. Take the Battle of Hastings. The English forces were hung over from a party the night before. The Norman forces were sober. It was the English who were conquered. The world's oldest body of laws dates back to Babylon in 1780 BC and it describes, amongst other things, regulations about the sale and the purchase of beer. Fermentation rules the world. It's given us good health, nutrition, altered states and fun. The world's oldest known recipe describes how to make beer. It's in a poem called The Hymn to Ninkasi. It was written thousands of years ago, and I'm not going to repeat it because it would take me about five hours. Fermentation is everywhere in the world. It's in our food, our drink, it's in medicine, perfume, mouthwash. It's even in our intestines. Every day, each person makes alcohol in their guts. It's called autobrewery syndrome. Now, it's probably not enough to make a cocktail out of, but it's still there. Cheers to fermentation. Ooh, that's strong. To hear more fascinating anecdotes about booze history, why not book Jane Payton, principal of the School of Booze, for entertaining corporate and after-dinner speaking?